what's going on guys we're going to recap today's price action on the nq so today especially early 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 in the day the first two hours of the market we should have made money there was opportunities for us to make money trading the nasdaq futures within the first two hours of the market now if you didn't if you found yourself trying to short you need to start analyzing what you're looking at in the markets and why you're trying to dictate and outsmart the markets listen price is king okay i don't care what you think i don't care what i think i don't care what the next guy thinks what tom dick and harry think okay whether we think the market needs a pullback or a bounce is irrelevant what's relevant and what's king is price what is price doing and how can we use indicators moving averages supply and demand and risk management to get a piece of that pie, okay? So here we go. If we look at what we were doing on the NASDAQ 100 in the pre-market, we were selling off. I have a big saying in my room, in evolution traders, we don't short into the hole, just like we don't buy into the sky, okay? So again, when we're selling off in the pre-market, we're not looking to see pre-market go lower and then jump that short. So many new traders are telling themselves, market's red, we're going to open up and go down. In the minute it wicks down, you get trigger happy, you short, and then you get trapped, okay? That's what is, that's, it's, it's, it's just market 101, okay? So we don't short into the hole. The only way we can take a short is after this consolidation we need some type of pop rejection and then we need to lose those lows make sense so with that being said we got a beautiful 20 sma setup that that formed right off the open we've already got our max pain down here at the pre-market lows we've got our reason why candle we could also put a max pain down here we get our following candle to confirm so we should be in here okay again i want to make this very clear here's the top of our reason why here's our max pain stop loss this is our range we're going to use that as a uh trading range we're very disconnected from the 200 SMA correlate in correlation with where our 20 SMA is. So we've got a gap to fill here. With that being said, once we get into this trade, okay, once we get into this trade, this range of this candle is 31 points. So we've got a few areas that we're looking at to take profits. We're looking for something close to 30 points. We're looking for 15 points, which is, which is half the range, and or we're looking for 13, 13 points, which is a five minute ATR. Now, how we can extend and make more money, make collect more return on, on this particular trade, I teach a lot of that in Evolution Traders. But again, I just want to focus on finding the, the correct pattern, getting in, getting green, and let's let's go ahead and, and build on that on a day-in and day-out basis, okay? So with that, or we could also take profits into the 200, right? So that if that's our, our next area of, of macro uh, intraday supply, right, right here, then we're going to look to take profits into that 200, okay? So with that being said, there was tremendous amount of opportunity to make money. Not only did we push higher, we got a pause candle and then we got an explosion candle here. I would say that most traders should have been either depending on the amount of contracts that you're trading. If you're trading mini contracts, then this is probably sufficient enough for you. 10 to 15 points is probably sufficient enough for a quick scalp. If you're trading on the micro side of things, then maybe we were looking for something a little bit closer to that you know, 20 to 30 point range before we start to feel, you know, like we've actually done something on the day and we would be taking profits here anywhere in this candle. Okay. Or if you are playing very small size and you're looking for more of a move, you want to sell into that next area of supply. Again, we do get an SMA short setup here. One thing that I want to kind of, uh, you know, let you guys know is as long as we haven't taken out those pre-market lows, that first hour range lows here, you know, you have to treat everything as a scalp. So if we do decide to take this 20 SMA play here again, you know, I, I it's tricky because this 20 SMA play here is leading into that dreaded New York um, lunch hour. Right. I hate trading the lunch hour because typically whatever we've done in the morning, we typically tend to reverse and or go sideways during lunch. OK, doesn't mean that there's not areas to make money. It just means that volume dries up a little bit okay so it's a little bit more difficult so if we do get into this 20 sma play short here it does not confirm until here and right after we confirm we start to barcode okay we go sideways now we never take out our stop loss which is the the reason why it's high and we never close over our 20 sma so we should still be sitting short however this is going to be a pain in the ass because from when we got into this trade we're looking at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 minutes worth of absolutely nothing and just 30 minutes of drawdown, okay? 30 minutes of drawdown. Now, our stop loss, our max pain should be somewhere around 22 points on this particular setup. 
and we're looking to take profits because we already understand that we're in an uptrend today. So we're not looking for an extended down move to the downside until we lose those lows. But again, we're looking to take profits at each new low. Okay, so at each new low. So once we get into this trade and we put in that first new low, you can think about taking profits. If you don't take profits and you go back into drawdown, well, when we put in that next new low, you better be thinking about taking profits, okay? You better be thinking about taking profits. The more times we put in a new low after entry and you don't take profits, you're asking to get trapped, okay? You're asking to get trapped. It's the same thing on the long side when the play does work. If we're gonna get into the trade here, we wanna be thinking about taking profits at each new high, at each new high, each new high, each new high, each new high, right? So the farther we get away, the more new highs we put in, the bigger the risk of it pulling back, right? So again, same way. If we're going counter trend on this particular short setup here, well, then we put in a new low, you better be thinking about taking profits because you're just asking to get stopped out. Again, this was a very tricky trade here. It would have drove a lot of people, including myself, nuts. With that being said, there's better entries for that short position. I would have liked to get in here. I explain a lot of this. We call it the old bigs topper. We call these the old bigs bottoms down here. But again, you know, those those are a little bit for more advanced scalpers and people who are trying to take the market a little bit more serious. Again, I, I recommend focusing on one particular pattern and strategy until you guys become profitable and start taking payouts, especially if you're trading on the prop firm side of things. We need to focus on one or two areas of interest, meaning setups. We need to focus on risk management and discipline. We need to pass these evaluations in a timely matter, sub 30 days, and we need to get that first payout. Once we get that first payout, then we can take a deep breath and we can start learning and adding more tools to our belt. I hope this video finds you guys well. I hope you guys finish the week with a fantastic week. I'll see all of you guys on the inside who are listening from Evolution Traders. And to the rest of you guys, I'll see all of you guys on YouTube. Again, make sure to hit the like, comment, and subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys all next time.